Hey TSM fans, Double Wolf here, and here in the Korean boot camp, it's about, I think day eight or nine, somewhere around there, and um, just thought I'd give you a sort of summary and tell you guys what's been going on and um, my predictions for Worlds. So, coming into the boot camp, actually, we, I hadn't seen my team for probably a whole week. Uh, after we won the finals, we all took a little bit of a break and we kind of split off. So going to the airport was like really weird because I had not seen my team for a whole like six or seven days. And just seeing everyone again actually was a really happy moment. It was really fun to like catch up, I guess, and just make fun of each other. Vincent's hair looks all different, so I was making fun of him for having a different haircut. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we just got straight into work, actually. We were, everyone was a little bit jet lagged at first. We were playing horrible in practice. I mean, everyone was like bombing their placements and we were playing bad in scrims. Um, and then there was really unfortunate accident with our staff getting hacked and our scrims getting leaked. And that was like a really big hit for our morale. But we bounced back really quickly. And over the course of like this last five or six days, I think we've had really, really good practice. Um, we're all feeling really good, like the team's coming together really well. And just living here, I guess, it, it kind of increases everyone's sense of urgency for Worlds because we know that we only have about 10 more days left in Korea before we go back to America. And, you know, we're going back a little bit early than other teams to adjust for jet lag and make sure that we're all well, we're in like tip-top condition for Worlds for when group stages starts. And I guess just the sense that there's not so much time left in Korea is gonna really like level our game up and especially since the groups have already been drawn we know exactly who we're playing against there's a lot of work to do like in terms of studying them and focusing on like our strategies against them really like fine-tuning them so yeah along those lines I guess our group uh, initially the reaction was that we are in the group of death but I actually think that's kind of wrong there's definitely there's another group either group B or C I forgot but that that group seemed extremely difficult um, ours I'd say it's a, more of a middling group. It's not easy, but it's not particularly hard. I think Royal will be the... Uh, Wildcard has a really bad no connotation to it. I'd say they're the most variable team. Like, they have the potential to do really well. People say that they, you know, at their peak, they're the best Chinese team, and at their worst, they're awful. So I think they could show up and be, like, a big upset team or um, super dominating or just, like, flop really badly. Uh, Chinese teams have a tendency to do that at Worlds where they just kind of, like, dissolve uh, in the group stages so you know some teams might be like that but I think Samsung and Spice will be a little bit more consistent especially I think Samsung especially even though they're the thir third seed from Korea I'd say that us and Samsung are the favorites to make it out of the group I don't really understand how people are discounting them um, but yeah I definitely predict us two to get out Splice obviously they're decent they're a top three team from Europe but um, I just feel like Europe doesn't have as stiff competition as NA, so I'd say like in terms of top three teams, the absolute best teams like us and G2 might be really strong, but the lower teams from EU like H2K and Splice won't have a great showing. Um, I, that's my prediction at least. So um, overall, I'm pretty happy with our group draw. I feel like it's a good test. I, I don't think we would, if we don't make it out of the group, then we never would have had a chance to win the whole thing anyways because we're up against a bunch of third seeds and a second seed from China. But if we do make it out of the groups, I feel like it'll be a good test of our medal, sort of. It's a like a good sign for the rest of the tournament that we're gonna be able to make it into the finals or you know semis, whatever. Everyone has different aspirations. So I'm really excited for Worlds overall and everyone here is working extremely hard. Um, you can see sometimes we're streaming when we have time for you know, four or five hour blocks of solo queue. And we're generally taking it extremely seriously. Um, hopefully you guys cheer us on when we come back to America and, you know, we'll make you proud during the groups.